Congratulations so much on being here. Yes. Getting tickets to uh, this event is really, really, really hard. Uh, they sell out very fast. Uh, I had to accept uh, an invitation to be a host to get a ticket here. Yeah. So if you have tickets, that means that you are amazing. Or possibly that you are very, very good at hitting F5. But that is a talent too. So good job on being here. Congratulations. I am MPJ. And I am Un. And we are your hosts. This is Un. She is a UX designer at Doberman and is mostly known for being uh, IT Woman of the Year. Why, thank you. And this is Matthias Petter Johansson, or MPJ as we know him on the internet. He is known for his YouTube channel, Fun Fun Function, that just hit over 100,000 subscribers. We are really happy to have him here. He worked at Spotify before we recruited him to be a host of Nordic.js, and now he works for one of our sponsors, iTeam. So be warned, that might happen today. We have some amazing speakers. We do. Two days, and this is a one-track conference. So it means that we only recruited good speakers so that you can see them all. We are being streamed live to millions of people. Uh, so uh, he say hello to the live stream. Hello. Hi, live stream. That's scary. Right. So before the first speaker goes on, we have some exciting and important practicalities to talk about. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, we have a code of conduct at this conference. Uh, so you can find it if you scroll down to the bottom of nordicjazz.com. Uh, it's uh, very normal and reasonable stuff, uh, but we would like to stress that it is not for show. It is being enforced. So if you notice someone that is making someone else feel unwelcome, uh, please do find some of the staff in the nice fancy suits uh, and uh, they, they will deal with the situation, uh, even if that person is a speaker uh, or, or a host. Yes, especially if it's a host, let <laughs> us know. Okay. What kind of time do we want people to have here at Nordic.js? Uh, we want, uh, we want to, uh, we want to talk a little bit about how you can have a horrible time at yes. Nordic.js. Uh, and why do we want to do that? Well, I mean, coming here, missing work, I mean, it's really, really hard to get tickets as well. And it's only once a year, and some of these talks you might actually want to see. But there's this thing, but you might want to waste this conference anyway. Yeah, we, in, order for, in order for us to explain this to you, we need to explain a Swedish word. It has been, uh, it has been explained at earlier Nordic.js conferences. It's called vaska. Uh, it roughly translates to wasting. And it was something that uh, kids on the nightlife scene in, uh, in central Stockholm invented. It's where you buy a bottle of champagne, the more expensive, uh, the better, and you just pour it out. Uh, and uh, that's, that's what you do. Yeah. That, that's, that's Vaska. And uh, these people are geniuses. It's, uh, it's very weird that they did not get the Nobel Prize in economics for this thing. Yeah, I mean, it's so great for industry. You produce more stuff if you exactly. throw half it's of it away. Uh, so what we are going to talk about right now is how you can, as effectively as possible, waste an entire conference. Yes. So to start off with, we have Wi-Fi. Don't use it. It's very tempting. It doesn't even have a password. Because if you don't use it, you'll miss out on all the action that happens on our hashtag. You'll miss out, which will be great. The hashtag, by the way, is NordicJS. Hashtag NordicJS. There will be breaks. Do not use these breaks. Uh, instead, it's very good to be remain seated and uh, possibly do some work. 
you can sit, sit still and avoid talking to, to anyone. Yes. And that way you will be tired and lonely, which is an excellent way of uh, wasting a conference. Yes. Uh, if you want to waste your life, don't use the fire exits. Um, <laughs> Uh, unless, because fire has been known to cause death to humans unless you belong to the house of Targaryen. Yes, uh, there are toilets as well. Toilets there are, yes, yes, yes. They're right next to the stage, very close. You can almost see them from where you're sitting. But I'd recommend that you wait until just before the speaker is going to start talking. That way you can miss like 10 minutes of the talk by waiting in line. Great for wasting. It's fantastic. Uh, and now I'm going to talk about a very important time-wasting trick because this particular one allows you to waste the time of others. Uh, you, as you see, we are 800 people here, uh, and there are uh, almost exactly 800 seats. Uh, so uh, that means that if you sub-optimize how you plant your ass, we can create like a, a badly defragment hard, a defragmented hard drive uh, situation here uh, at the conference uh, so that people have to climb over other people in order to find a seat, uh, which uh, wastes a lot of time. That will be chaos. Great idea. Yeah, so sit as dumb as possible if you want to cause other people agony. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, you have food and drink tickets inside your goodie bag. We recommend that you eat the drink and food ticket, so that way you will be hungry and cranky for the entire conference. And you won't even be able to experience the food trucks that are parked outside. Also, there is merch. Do not buy this merch, uh, because it might uh, cause you to later look at the merch at home. Uh, and remember the uh, conference fondly. Uh, it's better that you create absolutely no trace of the conference in your mind or in your wardrobe. That way the conference will be properly wasted. Yes. Uh, the merch is available in the info booth, so avoid that. Right. Um, it has become time for our first speaker. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and I am excited about this. He is one of those people who is a lot of things. Yeah, I would... I want to talk a little bit. I, uh, I live near a, a graveyard, and I like to, um, I like to walk around. Uh, I like to walk around there. Why? Um, I just like to look at dead people. Right, right. Uh, because back in the day, it was... Uh, if you walk in a graveyard, you notice that back in the day, it was popular to put the title of, of the person on, on the gravestone. So it was like Postal Officer John Wilkins. Okay. Uh, and back then, you just did one thing and then you die. Right. But that gravestone strategy would absolutely not scale to our next speaker. You would need a very, very, very big gravestone. Yes. Yes, you would definitely need a very large gravestone. We're talking like house big gravestone because he, I mean, his education is in computer science, but he worked as a long time for a designer, for Hipmunk, for Intercom. He's French, but he lives in Japan. He runs a daily newsletter on design called Sidebar. He created the framework Vulcan. He's the co-author of a book that's called Discover Meteor. The list just goes on and on and on and on. So therefore, me and MPJ are so pleased to welcome designer, developer, entrepreneur, Sasha Grief. 